sorry to interrupt your cryosleep, but I thought it worth mentioning that I, your digital officer during emergencies, or Dottie, have detected an alien biorhythm on this ship. And just as I suspected, the aliens uploaded a virus, which is slowly deleting my program. I'm available for guidance if you require. I'm initiating security protocol, Carpenter, GUI, Doghead, which is a series of tests designed to evaluate your humanity and reveal any aliens hiding amongst you. I have determined that three of you are secretly aliens. Please look at your device and confirm your identity. Your device can tell you if you're a human or an alien, but not the identities of your fellow players. Unfortunately, aliens will know who their compatriots are, so you'll be at a bit of a disadvantage, humans. By my calculations, you will have 18 minutes before I cease to be. So I'd appreciate it if you could figure out who the aliens are and then push the button. You will be our first captain. I have repurposed the ship's quarters into unique testing areas. You can be impressed now. Choose an available room and your desired participants. Maybe I'm getting loopy, but I think I just saw the Green Lantern. Welcome to the Opinion Hold, a place to hang out and let your opinions fly. Each participant will be presented with a bold statement. You will then provide your level of agreement or disagreement. Aliens, however, will be given a completely different statement. When the crew sees the full opinion, aliens may have to justify an outlandish position. Let's see what these players have to say. If they're an alien, their answer might be pretty out there. Humans were given this prompt. I could fix a broken washing machine. And now the participants answers. Do any of these answers seem suspicious? Look for someone answering out of character, or just start yelling at each other. Talk to each other and find the truth. But remember, three among you are aliens and will be lying. Hey everyone, if a player seems to be taking way too long to move on, you can tap the hurry up button to speed up the timer. We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Okay, let's get a move on. Pick another room and test group. There's less than 16 minutes. Welcome to the deliberation deck. Humans will be given a difficult decision and must choose which answer seems appropriate to them. Aliens will see no dilemma and must choose their answers blindly. When the crew sees the full statement, aliens may have to justify their random selection or face suspicion. Let's see what these players choose. If they're an alien, I bet it's peculiar.
the prompt humans saw was... Your kid brings home a terrible piece of art that they made at school and hands it to you. You immediately... Okay, what can we harp on? Now you have to decide who's an alien, or just makes terrible life decisions. We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. Uh-oh. It seems I've underestimated the alien virus's capabilities. Aliens now have the ability to hack the prompts. When looking at their probe screen, an alien can select any human and secretly give them the alien prompt to make things worse. Aliens can help other aliens by secretly giving them a human prompt. I hope you got all of that because there's no way I'm repeating it. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. I really hope we make it through this. I've got weird owl tickets this weekend. Welcome to the drawing quarters. You'll be given a prompt to draw. Draw it the best you can because the alien virus will give our intruders a similar yet different prompt. When the drawings are revealed, cast suspicion on any you find to be a bit off. As time goes on, I'll do my best to send the aliens harder prompts. You're welcome. Scott. Draw a wedding. And discuss. Keep in mind someone may have gotten a bad prompt, or they could just be a terrible artist. And don't forget about those alien hacks. A smart alien can make someone look suspicious by flipping their prompts. device. You can now push the button and take us to the extraction room, but I would recommend you only do this once you're confident in your suspicion. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. trip to the opinion hole. Keep your eyes peeled for any out of character responses. Human received. Raisin Bran is clearly the best cereal. There's gotta be a clue.
We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. The bioscanner is now online. If the team you send there passes a test, you'll be able to analyze any player and find out if they're an alien. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. By the way, all of this is distracting me from my comet dodging duties. This is the Bioscanner. Unfortunately, the virus has got this place pretty screwed up. Participants will see a set of alien glyphs on their device. The captain will only see three glyphs and must describe them out loud. When three glyphs are tapped, the captain can lock in. If the glyphs match, the test will pass. The captain will then be able to learn one player's secret identity. But watch out, aliens may fail by tapping the wrong glyph on purpose. Captain, I'm sending you the correct glyphs now. The test has failed. Okay, that was suspicious. Maybe test humans next time. We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. Captain. Another deliberation on the way. Keep an eye out for questionable positions. Here is the human prompt. You discover a picture of your dad with OJ, so you... Do any of these seem stinky? We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. Is the glitching getting worse? I feel like it's getting worse. And the title of captain has been passed.
Welcome to The Writing Pod. You will be given a fill-in-the-blank prompt. Answer honestly, because it will be scrutinized. The alien virus will allow the intruders to get something similar, but not quite right. When the correct prompt is revealed, it will be up to you to determine if any seem odd. As time winds down, I'll do my best to send the alien some real stinkers. It's the least I can do. And the prompt for humans was... My favorite winter activity is... What do we think? Look for any written answer that doesn't seem quite right. And don't forget to hit that suspicion button. We're on the clock here, people, so... Next, Captain. You're on the clock. Make sure you're checking out that probe screen from time to time. Ah, another trip to the opinion hold. Keep your eyes peeled for any out of character responses. And here's what humans saw. The moon is arousing. Let's obsess. We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. I don't think spaceships are supposed to crumble like that. Okay, you're up. Let's go. Welcome to the extraction room. If you haven't noticed, I've momentarily stopped the timer. And yes, it really hurts to do this. Since you were the one to push the button, isolate the three crew members you believe are aliens and press confirm. Since this is our... Now the non-isolated member shall vote. If you all vote yes, and these players are aliens, then the humans and moi are safe. But if one of them is a human, then it's curtains for us all. Okay, time to vote. The vote has to be unanimous. If anyone votes no, we'll have to go back to the main cabin. See ya.
sorry to interrupt your cryo sleep, but I thought it worth mentioning that I, your digital officer during emergencies, or... Sorry to interrupt your cryo sleep, but I thought it worth mentioning that I, your digital officer during emergencies, or Dottie, have detected an alien biorhythm on this ship. And just as I suspected, the aliens uploaded a virus, which is slowly deleting my program. Do you require guidance? I'm initiating security protocol, Wrigley, Ripley, Russell which is a series of tests designed to evaluate your humanity and reveal any aliens hiding amongst you. I have determined that two of you are secretly aliens. Please look at your device and confirm your identity. Your device can tell you if you're a human or an alien, but not the identities of your fellow players. Unfortunately, aliens will know who their compatriots are, so you'll be at a bit of a disadvantage, humans. By my calculations, you will have 18 minutes before I cease to be. So I'd appreciate it if you could figure out who the aliens are and then push the button. You will be our first captain. I have repurposed the ship's quarters into unique testing areas. Impressive, huh? Choose an available room and your desired participants. Keep an eye out for my pet dog, Spot. He likes to hide in people's shoes. Welcome to the Opinion Hold, a place to hang out and let your opinions fly. Each participant will be presented with a bold statement. You will then provide your level of agreement or disagreement. Aliens, however, will be given a completely different statement. 
When the crew sees the full opinion, aliens may have to justify an outlandish position. Let's see what these players have to say. If they're an alien, their answer might be pretty out there. The prompt humans saw was... I'm sarcastic. Now let's see the results. Do any of these answers seem suspicious? Look for someone answering out of character, or just start yelling at each other. Talk to each other and find the truth. But remember, two among you are aliens and will be lying. Hey everyone, if it plays... Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Okay, let's get a move on. Pick another room and test group. There's less than 17 minutes. Glitching is way more annoying. Welcome to the drawing quarters. You'll be given a prompt to draw. Draw it the best you can because the alien virus will give our intruders a similar yet different prompt. When the drawings are revealed, cast suspicion on any you find to be a bit off. As time goes on, I'll do my best to send the aliens harder prompts. You're welcome. If they're taking too long to draw, the hurry up button can help pick up the pace. Humans received the following prompt. Draw a shared appetizer. Do any of these answers seem suspicious? Keep in mind someone may have gotten a bad prompt, or they could just be a terrible artist. everyone, if a player seems to be taking way too long to move on, you can tap the hurry up button to speed up the timer. We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. Uh-oh, it seems I've underestimated the alien virus's capabilities. Aliens now have the ability to hack the prompts. When looking at their probe screen, an alien can select any human and secretly give them the alien prompt. To make things worse, aliens can help other aliens by secretly giving them a human prompt. I hope you got all of that because there's no way I'm repeating it. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Small confession, I have no idea where we're going.
Her Welcome to the writing pod. You will be given a fill in the blank prompt. Answer honestly because it will be scrutinized. The alien virus will allow the intruders to get something similar but not quite right. When the correct prompt is revealed, it will be up to you to determine if any seem odd. As time winds down, I'll do my best to send the aliens some real stinkers. It's the least I can do. Here's the correct prompt. This city with the best nightlife is probably... Do any of these answers seem suspicious? Look for any written answer that doesn't seem quite right. And don't forget to hit that suspicion button. And don't forget about those alien hacks. A smart alien can make someone look suspicious by flipping their prompts. your device. You can now push the button and take us to the extraction room, but I would recommend you only do this once you're confident in your suspicions. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Would be a lot of fun without the threat of mortality. Welcome to the deliberation deck. Humans will be given a difficult decision and must choose which answer seems appropriate to them. Aliens will see no dilemma and must choose their answers blindly. When the crew sees the full statement, aliens may have to justify their random selection or face suspicion. Let's see what these players choose. If they're an alien, I bet it's peculiar. Let's see the human prompt. It is discovered that global warming is made worse by looking at puppy videos. You must. And go. Now you have to decide who's an alien or just makes terrible life decisions. scanner is now online. If the team you send there passes a test, you'll be able to analyze any player and find out if they're an alien. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. You have selected the writing pod. Let's see if there's any weird responses. And the human prompt was... The background image on my phone screen is... Anything odd?
We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. Next captain, identified. Fluffy, you. This is the bioscanner. Unfortunately, the virus has got this place pretty screwed up. Participants will see a set of alien glyphs on their device. The captain will only see three glyphs and must describe them out loud. When three glyphs are tapped, the captain can lock in. If the glyphs match, the test will pass. The captain will then be able to learn one player's secret identity. But watch out, aliens may fail by tapping the wrong glyph on purpose. Captain, I'm sending you the correct glyphs now. The test has failed. Okay, that was suspicious. Maybe test humans next time. We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. What's with all the alarms? Oh, that's right, the aliens. New captain, selected. It seems one player has barely been tested. Is that a good idea? Maybe this is the vibe. Ah, another trip to the opinion hole. Keep your eyes peeled for any out of character responses. Humans were given this prompt My hands are deadly weapons. What do we think? We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. Next captain, please. Nothing like some art to distract me from my impending doom. 
What they draw could be quite revealing. I mentioned that if humans use all of their button pushes without success, you lose? Well, you do. Here's the prompt humans should have received. Draw a cool person. Let's obsess. to the extraction room. Check it out, I've stopped the timer. It's costing me a lot of CPU, but I don't want you to feel rushed. Since you were the one to push the button, isolate the two crew members you believe are aliens and press confirm. Since this is our first time here, you have two minutes to decide. Now the non-isolated member shall vote. If you all vote yes, and these players are aliens, then the humans and moi are safe. But if one of them is a human, then it's curtains for us all. Okay, time to vote. The vote has to be unanimous. If anyone... The vote has failed. Well, that was a bust. The crew member who pushed the button can no longer push it. is running out. All you can do is keep testing until you can all agree. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. There's less than three minutes. Deliberate swiftly, okay? Going for it again, I see. Whom will you isolate? You only get one minute, so act quickly. Okay, time to vote.
Welcome aboard. I'm Chuck Hull, the ship's captain and MC. Grab your dummy and sign in. <laughs> Quick, before the ship leaves the dock. Any time now. Toot, toot, we got a scoot. Round, comedians, here's tonight's itinerary. We're gonna write some jokes and then test them out on stage. But first things first, it's brainstorming time. Before we jump into the jokes, let's do a little writing exercise to get inspired. On your device, you'll be prompted to write various topics like animals, people, or objects. Fill in whatever you think has a lot of comedic potential. If another player uses one of your topics in a winning joke, you'll get some bonus points. Generate as many as you can. You have 45 seconds, starting now. Just like my premium cable bundle, this writing exercise is ending soon. Follow the steps on your device to write two jokes. Trust your instincts, unless they're bad. Move on to your second joke soon. Time's almost up. Get what you can in.
How about it, folks? A big round of applause for that hip-hop group, Nautical by Nature. Now, let's switch gears to some comedy. Let's welcome our first comedian to the stage. <laughs> Don't forget your catchphrase. Which comedian told a better joke? Look now! Let's keep this joke boat moving and welcome our next comic to the stage. Squat bunk wall dem jua dem rudy. Bra one e hot a zake wall. <laughs> Vote for your favorite joke now. And some credit to you. Here's another comedian, whether you like it or not. Ah, fresh lab rats. Sign in with the room code and don't forget to take a picture or draw yourself for our records.
Oh, yeah, we're doing this thing. Welcome to the Dictionarium, an enchanted wonderland of words. You heard me. It's enchanting up in here. Ooh, a fresh batch of piping hot wordsmiths. In the Dictionarium, you will create a dictionary entry for a made-up word, and you will win if your answers get the most votes. If you want to play along, join the audience by entering the room code. Let's rock! First things first, check your device for a new phrase. What does this phrase mean? Write down the answer on your device. If you're not sure what to write, I say take a deep breath and take a big swing. You might just hit it out of the park. the definitions. Voting time! Choose the definition that makes the most sense to you, or that makes the most joy to your world. Award bonus points to the ones that stole your heart. And the winning definition to be immortalized in the dictionarium is... Now let's do the same thing for the other phrase. Chunky little ponies. Pick the definition you think should be recorded in the official dictionarium. It would behoove you to vote right now. And the winning definition to be recorded forever in the dictionarium is... to 
put on your thinking beret. Give me a new piece of slang that matches the definition on your device. This round is quick, so please write fast. The time is slipping away, so submit your cinnamon! Okay, let's see them. Pick the phrase that makes the most sense with this definition. And the winner is... You know what to do. Vote again. Someone still has not voted. That person should vote. And the winner is... have a brand new piece of slang. Let's use it! Write a sentence with the new piece of jargon. You are writing a sentence now. I can't wait to see what it is. Whoop, whoop! Please submit right now or I'm going to be so sad, so crying. I am thrilled to present your sentences. It's time to vote! Winning sentences! <laughs> the 
The sentences are in. Time to vote. And the champion sentence is... Look at that splendor. You made something of nothing and you made me proud like a stallion. What a number one perfect wonderful word. Thank you for your contributions. And now, let's see the winner. <laughs> you are welcome back anytime. I just get very lonely. You know, the camera's picked up something really weird. Really? Yeah, it's behind a fast food joint. It's almost some sort of portal. A portal? Yeah, it's like some sort of swirling... I'm gonna stop you there. Is it possible it's like a dimensional rift? Maybe. Like a doorway to another dimension? I mean, it could be. I mean, I know that seems it's very unlikely. It seems very unlikely. Like, ridiculous. Kind of dumb. Like, not even worth talking about. Yeah, it's probably not that. You want to get lunch? Yeah. Ooh. Secrets. Hey, for the game later, can you pick up some finger food? Like chips and dip? Just take it out of petty cash. I already did, but there was only enough for one, so I got dip. You got dip without chips. What do we put in a dip? You said finger food. Fingers? Yep, I guess that's about our best option at this point. Oh, that's the nanites. They're little silicon robots that detonate should you turn out to be a double agent or go rogue. Just a simple behavior inhibitor. Uh, oh my god. Are they approved for paleo? I don't know. Data collection, Agent Warren. No, we're data collecting. We need the main office in Washington. Hey, Brian, did you get those requisition forms I put on your desk? Yeah, everything should be processed in a day or so. I'll let the agents know. And you saw that request from Agent Harris? I'm sorry, who? Agent Harris, you know, works in the Caribbean sector, where's a... It's the dolphin. You're talking about a dolphin. Yeah. How does a dolphin fill out requisition forms? They're probably transcribed. Dolphins can't talk. They're fish. Dolphins aren't fish. You get my point. Oh, the dolphins are fish? They're mammals. I was being metaphorical. That's mm -hmm. not a metaphor. Who are you, Mr. I Dictionary? Think Come here. Brian thinks dolphins are fish. No, they're mammals. I know that. Then why did you say it? He thinks it's a metaphor. What? You two think it's a bigger deal that I said dolphins are fish than the fact that a dolphin is a field agent sending in requisition forms. Yeah. He can't send in forms. He can't talk. He's not a real agent. Harris is a she. 
I'm transferring to ATF. What does that mean? That's the alarm that goes off when the world's man bun population has eclipsed 15%. What do we do? We head to the basement and we wait it out. Okay, everybody, file out in an orderly manner. Remain calm. Breathe it in. All right. Breathe it in. Three, two, one. Thanks to our extensive network of surveillance cameras, we can see everything going on in the world. Did you know that Brad Pitt eats a full loaf of bread every morning? The government uses this information for whatever, but we use it to play... Espionage! Let's have some analytical fun! Who's up first? Sit. Stay. Answer question. What percentage of people have watched a film in the Air Bud franchise in its entirety? Try to guess the correct percentage as close as you can. The closer your guess is to the correct percentage, the more points you earn. Okay, we have a guess. 20%. Everyone else, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? You can also double down and guess much higher or much lower if you think the guess is off by 15% or more. <laughs> Breathe it in. I hear you. I hear half you. And half. And Surveil says... 39%. I haven't seen them. I'm holding out for the Broadway musical. Who picked higher? Well done. You get points. Next up. Ooh, I remember seeing good surveillance for this yesterday. What percentage of people usually correct those who misquote lines from movies? Okay, higher or lower? I hear Breathe it in. Mm -hmm. Running out of time. The majority say lower. And the correct answer is... 39%! You gotta be within 30% of the right answer to get points. Sorry, not sorry. Who got it right? Nice job! I've got some points for you. Okay, who's up next? I hear you. We've collected data about everything, even this. What percentage of people have been to a farmer's market within the past year? Seventy-three percent. All right, what do you think? Breathe it in. Lower across the board. And Surveil says... 47%. Enjoy those $5 rutabagas. Let's see who got it right. Smart, yes. Here's your points. And what have we here? Well done. Double points for saying much lower. Who's next? Typey, typey. What percentage of people attended their high school senior prom? 
wasting. 60%. Okay, higher or lower. Breathe it in. Full of shorts. Out of time. Most of you are saying higher. Okay, right answer is 63%. Dang, you nailed that guess. Who got it right? Nice job. I've got some points for you. Okay, who's up next? Breathe it in. I'm going to search for... What percentage of people are not at all pleased by having surprise parties thrown for them? Everyone else, higher or lower? Right down the middle. Okay, let's see the right answer. 9%! Your guess wasn't within 30% of the correct answer, so you don't get any points. Let's see who got it right. Points for you. Next up. <laughs> Here's one that'll perk up the ears of HR. What percentage of people currently have a crush on someone they work with? Everyone pick higher or lower. Breathe it in. Full of shorts. What do you think? Higher or lower? I hear you. People are saying higher. Now let's get to the right answer. 29%! <laughs> what a weird question. Right, Shelly? Who got it right? Here's some points. Okay, who's up next? Oh, this is going to be good. What percentage of people have had professional palm readings, visited psychics, or had tarot card readings? 22%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? And the correct answer is 30%, which is exactly the percentage of people who end up rich and famous and related to Abe Lincoln. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. And what have we here? Ugh, I'm sorry. Double downs only count if the answer is off by 15% or more. Uh-oh, final round time. We embedded microchips in hundreds of subjects and found the most popular answers to this question. What pasta variety or shape do people most like to eat? Now let's see the answers. But only the top three answers will get you points. Ready, go!
Let's see what answers you chose. Now let's take a look at the results. Every game has to have a winner, and our winner is... Congratulations, you seem to know everyone's secrets. Remind me never to cross you. Three, two, one. The subliminal messaging works! You're back for another game of... Gespionage! First up... Okay, computer, what do you have for this one? What percentage of people have caught foul balls or home runs at professional baseball games? Okay, everyone else, time to guess if the actual percentage is higher or lower. If you think the guess is off by 15% or more, you can get double points by picking much higher or much lower. saying higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. 9%! And those of you who jumped in front of a kid to do it, we know. Who got it right? Well done. You get points. Who's next? All right, buckle in. I've got one for you. When consuming a canned beverage, what percentage of people usually fiddle with the little pop-top thingy from the top of the can, but don't remove it? Thirty-seven percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? It is. I Hurry up. <laughs> People are saying lower, and the correct answer is forty three percent, which disproves the theory that if you play with something long enough, it falls off. Mom. Let's see who got it right. Ooh, points for you. Next up. Oh, here's one we've been especially interested in. Don't ask why. What percentage of people keep personal junk food stashes at their places of employment? Seven percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? I hear you. Breathe it in. <laughs> Running out of time. 
most people said lower. And the correct answer is... 36%. You weren't within 30%, so no points for you. Who got it right? Here's some points. Okay, who's up next? I hear you. Let's see, what would be good? How about this? What percentage of people go by their middle names? Eleven percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. 3%. Thank goodness Harry Truman didn't go by his middle name. Just look it up. Let's see who got it right. Smart guess. Here's your points. Next up. Don't think about it. Just jump. What percentage of people played with parachutes at school growing up? 65%. Okay, higher or lower? I hear you. Breathe it in. What do you think? Higher or lower? Most of you are saying higher. And Surveil says... 80%. I know, that seems ridiculously high. Who got it right? Well done. You get points. next Secrets. maybe we'll get lucky and this will hack Bill Gates account what percentage of people could not tell you their current checking account balance within $10 Okay, higher or lower? I hear you. Foolish. Breathe it in. Everyone is saying lower, and Surveil says 61%. Terrible guess. You need to be within 30% to get points. Is this thing broken? No, you were all just wrong. Okay, who's up next? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, how about... What percentage of people are superstitious about blowing out all their birthday candles in one breath? Everyone pick higher or lower. Breathe it in. I hear you. Foolish. 
one of you thinks it's higher. Now let's get to the right answer. 42%. Mmm, I'll take a slice with your spit, please. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. It's time for the final round. Through totally legal means, we found the most popular answers to this question. In what language that they don't currently speak would most people like to be fluent? Let's see what we have. But choose carefully, only the three most popular answers are worth points. Good luck! Let's see what everyone picked. And what are the most popular answers? Who's my hero? Who's my hero? It's... Breathe it in. Wow, you really know all our data, which means now we can never let you leave the facility. But great job. I just finished redacting our last game, so we're good for another game of... Gespionage! Let's start with you. <coughs> Sorry, I was testing my own tongue. What percentage of people can curl their tongues? have an answer 56 percent everyone else do you think the correct answer is higher or lower you can also double down and guess much higher or much lower if you think the guess is off by 15 percent or more breathe it in for short people are thinking it's lower okay right answer is 78%! I've seen worse guesses. Who got it right? Nice job! I've got some points for you. Next up! Alright, I have a good one. What percentage of people have knitted something? What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Secrets. Breathe it in. I hear you. Foolish. Looks like an even split. Okay, let's see the right answer. 25%. Wow, you were pretty close. Let's see who got it right. Nice job, I've got some points for you. Okay, who's up next? 
for lunch should I go to a diner or a coffee house? Given a choice between the classic Friends-centered sitcom Seinfeld and Friends, what percentage of people prefer Friends? Anytime now. 61%. Everyone else, higher or lower? Breathe it in. Full of shorts. I hear you. Time's right. People are saying higher. And Surveil says... 50%! Split right down the middle, like Ross's pants or George's pants. Who got it right? Smart, yes. Here's your points. Who's next? <laughs> what should I search for in the old Surveillance Pro next? Ooh, I know. What percentage of people can recite their social security numbers from memory? Time's a waste. 59%. All right, what do you think? Running out of time. People are saying higher. And Surveil says... 91%. Guess that's something to be proud of. Let's see who got it right. Well done. You get points. Next up. I'll bet our database has some juicy data for this. What percentage of people most often use toilet paper to blow their noses? You're almost out of time. 15%. Everyone else, higher or lower? One of you thinks it's higher, and the correct answer is... 35%! Yeah, okay, that'll get you some points. Who got it right? Ooh, points for you! Okay, who's up next? Breathe it in. Ooh, the president asked us to look this up yesterday. What percentage of people prefer the Lord of the Rings novels to the Harry Potter novels? Fifty percent. Okay, higher or lower? Just one of you is saying higher. And the correct answer is... 35%. Personally, I think Harry Potter sucks. JK, rolling. Let's see who got it right. Nice job. I've got some points for you. Next up... 
hoping our database has some juicy data for this. What percentage of people have functioning VCRs in their homes? Okay, higher or lower? Breathe it in. Full of shoes. I hear you. I People hear are you. saying lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. 42%. These are the same people who use AOL dial up. We don't even count them in the census anymore. Who got it right? Here's some points. Uh-oh, final round time. By mining social media, we found the most popular answers to this question. For those too cowardly to do it face-to-face, -face, what other method is most often used to break up with someone? Let's see what people think. You'll need to pick the three most popular answers to get points. Ready, go! Remember, you can pick three answers, not just one. Okay, let's see what you picked. Okay, computer, show us the most popular answers. Now let's see those final scores. I do. Breathe it in. tax for the next three years.
Smitty here. I'm thinking of a game that starts with a Q. That's right, Quinopoly. Anyway, back to this. I don't want to make this weird, but one of you is my secret crush. I know, try not to freak out. This is round one. You are about to see two prompts on your device. Type something hilarious or not for each one. Then everyone gets to decide if your answer is better than someone else's. Democracy at work. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Hurry up! Use a safety quip if you can't think of anything! Let's start this show. Number one on the list, how Lady Gaga sleeps every night. Okay, pick your favorite quip now. Next on the list, why is each snowflake different? Ready, set, vote! Next up, what would happen if you removed all of Johnny Depp's many scarves? Vote on your devices! Next, the 1960s Batman was so goofy, one episode saw Batman and Robin fighting blank. It's voting time! Your next prompt is a job you'd be surprised requires a urine test. Get to voting.
And next is the sound a black hole makes. Okay, vote. Next on deck, why you shouldn't party with Vikings. Put in your votes. That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Yeah. It's time for round two, where all point values are doubled. That's right, doubled. Let's put up those quips. Up first, be prepared. Always keep a blank in your pocket. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Next one, yelling fire in a crowded movie theater is bad, but even worse is yelling blank. Load away. Moving on, if Michigan is shaped like a hand, Texas should be shaped like a blank. And vote. Next prompt, the quickest way to rid yourself of a tapeworm. Vote now. Moving on, 
the worst person to be on a plane with would constantly blank. Time to vote. Next one, the next big craze for yuppies, bottled blank. It's voting time. to find on an IQ test. Get to voting. That's all she wrote for round two. Let's check the scores. And now round three, the last lash. This time you'll all be answering the same prompt. Make up a phrase that goes with this acronym. Okay, soak it in. It's round three, so you've got three medals to award. A gold, a silver, and a bronze. Make your picks. Let's see where those medals went. Bronze first, silver, and gold. Now we transform those medals into points. It's over. Let's see the final scores.
hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close in unrelated news the trivia murder party killer is still on the loose up next raisins this is your wake up call prepare to die Welcome to Trivia Murder Party! This isn't an ice cream lover's convention after all, but a game of dire consequences. Only one of you will survive, and that one survivor will get a coupon for 20% off your next visit. Okay, first question. What's a cicada called when it first emerges from its larval state underground? Use your device to answer the question. Stop. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, follow me. Welcome to room 113. The hairdryer's broken, sorry. Ah, the old skewer's trick. Pick a space in this box to hide yourself. Don't worry, it's not like your life depends on it. Any good magic trick needs some helpful volunteers. Here's the fun part, you get a sword. On your device, choose a row or a column to run your sword through. I wonder if this is how Chris Angel feels every day of his life. Parry, thrust. Oh, man. I'm not comfortable with silence, so I talk during elevator rides. Let's keep moving. Which Muppet plays the drums? This. The rest of you, I want to show you something. Welcome back to the killing room. Let's play with dice. Roll as much as you want to add to your score. I'll kill the player with the lowest score. But go over 21 and you die instead. And don't forget... If they roll a skull, that adds one to everyone's score. It's kind of spooky to see skulls on dice. Ooh. It 
get your last chance to sneak a few extra rolls in. Ooh, busted! Thank you for getting blown up. It makes me so happy. Don't worry. Remember, dead players are still players. Just more see-through. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's try another one. Besides a bloody surprise, why would I be seeing red in a black forest cake? Time's running out. Who picked this? One of you is still alive. It's time. Oh, look! It's the loser wheel! Spin it! It's fun! Just like The Price is Right, but totally different for legal reasons. Well, the loser wheel's gonna loser wheel, you know? Players left alive will go to the final round. Next question. What weapon slays the Jabberwocky in Through the Looking Glass? <laughs> Almost out of time. <laughs> Who picked? This. Time for consequences. Let's see who has ESP. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. And I do mean anyone. Now, let's see if there are any matches. Well, I guess mind reading doesn't exist after all. Did I say that out loud? Let's keep moving. Based on the sport of cricket, what would I achieve if I murder three players, one right after the other? Time's almost up. Oh. Who picked this? Come with me. Hey, have you ever played this game, Quiplash? The game will send a funny writing prompt to your devices. Enter the best answer you can think of and hit send. I made this time longer than usual, so you'll get extra stressed out when you still can't think of anything funny. Let's see if you're funnier than my neighbor. 
Do not stare directly into blank. All right, everyone else, vote for the answer you like the best. The player who wrote the answer with the fewest votes dies. Let's see the votes. The quips have been lashed. Let's try another one. What do you call two angles that add up to 90 degrees? Time's running out. Who picked this? Time for consequences. Ah, the spirit of giving. You each get $500. Give some of that money to your friend. The person who ends up with the most money will die. But there's a catch. If one of you ends up with $800 or more, I'll kill the other one instead. Begin. Hurry up. Uh. Let's track that cash. Too rich for your blood. This hotel hasn't been updated much since I was a kid. Same carpet, a lot of the same blood stains. Ah, it really brings me back. Let's keep moving. Why are there holes in my Swiss cheese? And no, that's not a euphemism. Try another one. Which is not something the devil claims to have done in the song Sympathy for the Devil. Oh. Almost out of time. Oh. <laughs> Who picked? This. It's time. Let's see if the safe players are good at forgery. Oh, hey, look. The ghost of my Aunt Mildred is writing on this mirror. She has her own consistent handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word. But so will all the safe players. Draw a word on the mirror, and maybe you'll trick someone into thinking it's Aunt Mildred's. Go ahead and start writing. Pay attention to the words as they appear and try to spot my auntie. So many convincing words to choose from. Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote or you die. Enter the right word now, or you die. Would the real Aunt Mildred please stand up? 
Oh, um, that's a weird mistake. Let me show you what's behind the looking glass. Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Congrats on making it here alive. But can you escape? I'm going to give you a category. Plural nouns. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. You're on your way to escaping. But wait, there's more. If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. I don't know if you can outrun those ghosts. Marine mammals. Launched online before 2000. stole some yummy life force. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Here comes the darkness. McDonald Land characters. Time is almost up. Don't look back, because there's a ghost right there! You are but shadows now. People alive during the year 1900. Another life force swap! U.S. Monopoly Streets. Actors in Sharknado 1 through 5. Time is almost up. More stolen life force. Operas. and Billy Joel's we didn't start the fire. Time is almost up. Where do you think you're going? If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. And that includes the third answer choice now, too.
deja vu. I could have sworn I just murdered you. First question. Which letter does not appear on the periodic table of elements? Use your device to answer the question. Time's almost up. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Which leaves only you. I want to show you something. Doom service! We're at room 113! Are you ready to fall? In love with my new minigame? You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. Hmm, someone needs to pick which slots are death zones. Go ahead, everyone else. Choose a slot to make it no bueno. Hurry along. If someone... Okay. Let the games begin. This was a lot harder to build than you guess. Come on, the idea was for people to die here. Only one of you can survive this game. And who knows, maybe it'll be the audience. Hey audience, I hope you all die in my game. If you're not ready now, you can join the audience, whatever. It's like super low crush. Let's keep moving. I'm a huge fan of Harper Lee's instruction manual, How to Kill a Mockingbird. Which famous author was novelist Harper Lee's neighbor and childhood friend? If you're in the audience, you need to answer too. Time's running out. Who picked this? The rest of you, follow me. Welcome to room 217. Ah, the lost art of letter writing. I'm going to dictate a message to you. Write down as much of what I say as you can. The player who writes the fewest of my words will die. Get your typing fingers ready because I'm starting right now. Dear Chocolate Pop Cereal, I love your product, but I fear your mascot. Peter the Pop Pig is clearly insane. His painted smile on the box is an obstacle I must overcome every time I prepare breakfast. Please just send me your delicious product in a clear plastic bag. Time's up. All right, now let me get out my red pen and give this a once over. And here's how you did. Well, one of you was the worst. What is this garbage? I've seen Reddit threads that make more sense than this. Let's try another one. I might hate people, but I love brands. What brand's slogan is, when it rains, it pours? <laughs> Almost out of time. <laughs> Who picked this? The rest of you who are still alive, come with me. Ooh, this is a fun one. Everyone pick an elevator door. 
If you all pick the same side, you all live. But if there's a split decision, I will kill everyone on the heavier side. Everyone's going into this with the best intentions, right? Let's see where you all landed. player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. What is British Spoom? <laughs> Time's almost up. Who picked this? I want to show you something. I'm giving you all scratch tickets. What a quirky last minute gift. Scratch and find three dollar signs to live. And if you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for all the extra dollar signs you find. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. Get to scratching. Ooh, wouldn't it feel good to scratch some more spots? The contest is almost over. It's no fun for me if you don't scratch more spots. We know what a losing ticket means. Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. You've made it so far, but can you escape? Here's your first category. Synchronized swimming positions. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Let's see the right answers. Disney villains. Time is almost up. Ugh, I gotta get some harder questions. Here comes the next question. WNBA teams. Boat related occupations. to the exit. Don't look behind you. Are you afraid of the dark? Born in South Africa. Time is almost up. So fast, you need a perfect answer for your final escape. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Not to get all the right answers. 
better to escape. Over this, you need to get all three. States in India. Time is almost up. You're not going anywhere. You killed your friend. Better get away fast. Parts of an animal cell. Another life swap. Words that are not fair. Ah, fresh lab rats. Sign in with the room code and don't forget to take a picture or draw yourself for our records. Welcome to Role Models. If you have any questions about our process, you're not alone. Here at the lab, we've spent years searching for the genetic magic that makes each and every human a truly unique individual. But that was hard, so we found a shortcut. We theorize every friend group has some version of the smart one, the popular one, the troubled loner who I can change. You get the idea. And these roles make it a lot easier to figure people out with science. You guys 
are going to match your fellow test subjects to the roles that fit them best. My lovely assistant will put all the data into the tubes, and at the end, we'll crunch the numbers and tell each of you who you really are. Ready to judge your friends based on pure logical merit? Great, let's go. Vote for a category to get us started. Ideally, something everyone knows a little bit about. Which fast food icon best sums up your personality? <laughs> so, on your device, you've got the names of your fellow lab rats. Drag each one to the role you think fits them best. That includes yourself. Oh, and you'll see a little 99% sign next to each role. Tap that to lock in the answer you're 99% certain will match what everyone else picks. I'll make it worth your while if you're right, so make sure to pick someone. When everyone's given out their roles, we'll check out the results. Let's see who's who. Let's see those votes. Take away the outliers. That's our winner. Yeah. I like to keep my guinea pigs motivated, so I'll give you guys these nutritious science pellets. Whatever your answers match the group. Whoever has the most at the end is my lab rat of the month. Plus, they taste like meat. More than cool, you're frosty. Hooray! You really thought you knew yourself and you really didn't. Subjects who already have a role can't get this one, so we'll take out these votes. I need a venti mermaid in the morning. If I'm counting right, that's a tie. Time for another test to see who gets this roll. Vote on your devices now. Whoever wins gets the roll. Makes sense to me. Acing this test definitely deserves some science pellets. Don't say I never did anything for you. Yeah. Remember this one? We hope so. Here's where we landed. And here's how many science pellets everyone has. Don't forget, you get those tasty pellets when your answers match the group, or you earn a role in a tiebreaker experiment. Keep that in mind if you want to beat your fellow guinea pigs. Give me another category. Be 
honest. Which butt wiping material are you? <laughs> okay, make those matches. And make sure to tap that 99% next to the roll you're sure you're right about. Let's see what everyone picked. Hooray! The number one choice for fancy grandmas. Yippee! No comment. Subjects are tied. Let's fix that. Enter your answer on your device. Your fellow lab rats will decide whether you get the role. Even if you're not sure you want the role, I'm handing out science pellets to the winner, so do your best. It's an experiment, man. You think rats always want to run the maze? There you have it. Vote on your devices now. Just as I hypothesized. And I'll reward your behavior with some science pellets. Gonna need more data to settle this tie. Type an answer on your device. All right, this is what we got. Vote on your devices now. We were all thinking the same thing on that one. I love a tie. It means we get more data. Write your answer on your device. There it is. Vote on your devices now. The results are in. You 
did not read the room on that. That's the lineup. Oh, and you? You are freaking me out with these predictions. Get out of everyone's heads. This will be our last category, so choose wisely. Social network fits each of you best. <coughs> Don't overthink this. Let's see where we landed. And your 99% guess was 100% right. Ooh, a tie. Let's break it. Vote on your devices now. Yeah, I'd call that pretty conclusive. <laughs> Swing and a miss, bud. Here's our lineup. One last thing before we end the experiment. Let's see if there are any more interesting patterns in those roles. You, judging by your roles, you're this, and you're also this. You can't be both. We're going to find out which quality fits you better. What's the worst thing about attending college parties? Answer this prompt on your device, then the other subjects will vote on your response. Okay, there's the data. Vote on your devices now. That's that. 
too. Your roles tell me you share a common personality trait. I can't stand not knowing who's better. You're a spy. An attractive counter agent has the secret file. How do you get it from them? Answer the prompt on your devices and we'll settle this once and for all. Here it is. Vote on your devices now. No clear winner there. Judging by all the other data points, we're going with you. That's all the data I needed. Here come your final roles, as determined by everything your fellow lab rats said about you. And my favorite little lab rat with the most total science pellets is... Everyone vote for the category that looks the most interesting. Preferably something you all know a bit about. Which popular karaoke song are each of you? <laughs> Assign those roles. Let's find out who you are. Trust me. Hooray! Are you trying to get signed at a karaoke bar? Never gonna keep you down. Yippee. Run! If I know my science, this is a tie. That means we get to do an experiment to see who gets the roll.
vote on your devices now. The winning subject gets the roll. Data has spoken. Performing the best in this experiment is definitely worth a few science pellets. Just don't spoil your dinner. Okay, did the lights just dim? Here's who's who. And here's everyone's science pellets. Remember, you get pellets when your answers match the group or you perform the best in a tiebreaker experiment. Keep that in mind if you want to be the lab rat of the month. What's our next category? Which profession best suits each of you? <coughs> Let the truth-telling begin. And remember to tap the 99% button next to the combo you feel most strongly about. See that data. Hooray! I'll follow up with you in three months. This could be the start of a dynasty. Smell like carp. Mmm. You really know yourself, or at least what your friends think of you. That 99% guess paid off. like your peers weren't feeling any of these roles for you. I've got a consolation role that might do the job. Everyone vote on which role should go to this perplexing subject. This feels right. You get the role and some science pellets. There's our lineup. And by the way, you, you are nailing this. You know more about your friends than you probably should. Okay, you've each got some roles under your belt. Let's see what the data tells us. You, according to your roles, you're this, and you're also this. You can't be both. 
We're going to find out which quality fits you better. You win $10,000 in the lotto. What's the first thing you do with the money? Answer this prompt on your device. Then the other subjects will vote on your response. <laughs> That's what they came up with. Vote on your devices now. I feel so much better now. You two. Your roles tell me you've got something in common. Which is cute and all, but there can be only one. What would be your job on the Death Star? Answer the prompt on your devices and we'll settle this once and for all. That's what we're working with. Vote on your devices now. I love results. Okay, what will our last category be? Which terrible breakup excuse are you? Don't overthink this. Let's see where we landed. Yeah. Time to break this tie. If it's you and not them, what exactly is wrong with you? Type an answer on your device. Your fellow lab rats will decide whether you get the role. That's the raw data. Vote on your devices now. The process works. I've got just the thing to break this tie. What's the name of your unfinished novel? 
Enter your answer on your device. There's the data. Vote on your devices now. And there you have it. Love a tie. It means we get more data. Who's got more growing to do? Shortest person wins. Vote on your devices now. tied again. Wonderful. According to our disturbingly sentient algorithm, the role goes to you. We've got our lineup. That's it. The experiment's complete. Get ready for your final roles as determined by everything your fellow subjects said about you. And our lab rat of the month with the most total science pellets is... 